Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm featuring the November card kit by Simon Zest Dam. But before I start, let's uh, take a quick look on all the kits that I have already. Today I will be working with the November card kit that has just arrived, but I do have two more kits that I haven't opened yet. One of the kits is uh, the October card kit that I haven't opened yet. It's a gorgeous card kit and it has beautiful papers and I just love the color combination. But um, as uh, far as I know, this kit has... Uh, sold out immediately as it came out and uh, there is another kit that it's from uh, september actually it's one of the the limited september editions this is packed with uh, goodies it's a, a gorgeous card kit and um, it's actually sold out as well so i haven't uh, done a one kit 10 cards uh, video for those two kits just because they sold out and i don't know if uh, you want me to make cards with uh, kits that are not available anymore so just make a comment below and let me know if you want to see uh, this feature with these kits but for now i will be working with the november card kit which is just gorgeous it's uh, definitely one of my favorites that have been released and it's still available down below in the description you will find links to this card kit which is still available but I'm going to link to every product separately in case you want to get for example just the stamp. Now the stamp set is just gorgeous and I want you to see that it's uh, quite big. It's not the normal size that you would get in a Simon's stamp card kit and you get lots of sentiments that go together with the words kind and kindness and there are also many flower images as well as leaves and also there is this beautiful flower arrangement with the word kind at the center in the kit you get this uh, die that cuts out the word kind that you can place it directly on top of the flower arrangement or separately. There is also a bag full of gold leaves which are great for embellishing your cards. You will also find these beautiful stickers. There are tons of stickers and I love that they have some gold foiling on top of them. And I will be using uh, these stickers a lot today since I will be creating lots of clusters so you will get a chance to see how you can use those on top of your cards. Now you also get your 12 by 12 uh, papers and these are specialty papers. Some of them do have some foiling, gold foiling on top of them. They are not double sided so you don't have to fight with yourself on which side to use. And they have beautiful, look how gorgeous this is, they have beautiful designs. You will find links down below on these two separately, as always, and um, you get lots of papers. Uh, you actually get four different uh, colors of uh, heavy cardstock and three beautiful embossed papers. And these come in silver, bronze and gold, and uh, all three of them have different designs on top. So just uh, because I want to create 10 different cards with these uh, papers, I'm going to bring in one more cardstock. So I have the four that were included in the kit and I'm going to bring in one white from my stash. I'm going to cut everything in half and score them so that I can create my 10 card bases. Now I'm going to start working for my first card and there is a one of the 6x6 pattern papers that is packed with those tags. So I'm going to use my paper trimmer to cut them out and I will be using them on this card as well as on some cards later on. For my first card I decided to combine these three tags and uh, since I want all to look uh, similar I decided to chop off uh, the edges from uh, the slim one. Now by using my crop dial I'm going to make holes on all the tags and then I'm going to set uh, three eyelets and as you can see I have chosen three different colors and I did that just to add uh, more interest on my card. You can definitely use uh, the same color on all the tags. And to, to add even more interest on my tags, I'm using this uh, WOW embossing pen and uh, I'm just uh, touching the centers of my flowers. So now I can apply some embossing powder. It's going to stick only where that pen touched. So I'm going to use my heat gun and emboss the embossing powder so that I will end up having gold centers on these uh, white daisies. Now I'm using some white thread and I'm going to tie some uh, knots at the top of the tags just to add some texture on the card and it's always nice to um, combine different textures because um, it always adds uh, interest on an 
otherwise very simple card. So I'm just going to add some tape adhesive at the back of one tag, just decide where everything is going to go. Then on the other tag I'm going to use some foam squares which are going to add just a bit of dimension. And I'm going to place the last one at the bottom. So I have uh, one tag that says just for you and another one that says th thinking of you. So there is no need to add a sentiment on this card since everything is written on your tags. So I'm creating a nice cluster there and it's always nice to use uh, three elements when you are creating clusters. It's always uh, more interest to the eye. I am going to chop off some of the excess of those strings and my card is pretty much finished. I'm going to add a few more uh, stickers on top just to make it more interesting. So I'm sticking one uh, golden heart and I'm also going to stick one of those flowers as well as uh, a couple of um, leaves. And my first card is finished. Super quick and easy. Just use some pattern paper and the stickers. And let's move on to the second card for today, which is also going to be super quick and easy. So I have cut out uh, a rectangle out of this pattern paper that is pink and has uh, tiny little uh, hearts. I'm going to stick that on my card base and I'm using the dark brown one as a card base. And then I'm going to pick up a few of those stickers to create a little scene. All I'm doing is using the houses and the trees from uh, the stickers and I'm going to create a little neighborhood and uh, instead of sticking everything directly on top of my paper I'm going to use some foam squares on some of the houses so this way I am going to create some depth. So although this is already a sticker I'm going to add some foam tape at the back just to help it pop against the background. And then I will go ahead and add one more tree for my little neighborhood. Again, I'm going to pop that with some foam tape at the back. And as a sentiment, uh, I'm going to use a sticker. And there is this beautiful sticker that says, You are my home, which I'm going to stick on top of my card with some foam squares at the back. Coming out from the chimney from this house at the front. So I think it's an adorable little card. And it's already finished. Super quick and easy. Now for the next card I'm going to use this uh, rectangle piece and I have cut it out from the bronze embossed paper. It's just gorgeous. I'm working on uh, the cream cardstock and I'm going to stick that on top. Now again I'm going to use only stickers for this card. The stickers are a great way to create quick and easy cards and at the same time they are going to look professional. Now this is where I decided that I didn't want to stick this um, bird directly on top of uh, my card. So again I am doing uh, the same trick that I did previously. And as I was cutting out my foam with my scissors, I also cut out my finger. So we all know that card making can be a very dangerous hobby. So just take care of your fingers there. Now I am going to lift just a little bit that uh, panel there. And it's a good thing that I used Alta New Tape Runner because it's quite forgiving. It doesn't bond, bond completely until you press it hard enough. And uh, all I'm trying to do here is to make that uh, bird case look up as if it is hanging from that string. And I'm also going to tie a little bow there with the same string. I'm going to chop off the excess of uh, that uh, string, making sure that I don't chop off my fingers as well. And then I'm going to stick that directly on top of uh, my bird case by using a glue dot. Now there is a beautiful sticker in gold that says uh, kindness which I am going to use as my sentiment for this card and again instead of using it flat on top of my card base I am uh, adding some foam tape at the back to add dimension. And when you are working with uh, elements like this and stickers, it makes uh, it gives more interest to your card when you are uh, clustering many of them together. So I am sticking those golden leaves as well as these uh, two golden hearts. And my card is ready. Now for my fourth card I'm going to use a, one more rectangle that I have cut out. So again I'm going for the same uh, card base and the, pretty much the same design. 
But this time I'm going to use another sticker. There is a beautiful flower sticker which uh, is white and has these golden uh, details. And uh, you will see later on that uh, these stickers are quite forgiving since I am uh, going to change my mind on the placement of uh, the flower. But for now, let's uh, work on the sentiment. So I'm going to use the word kind from the stamp set and I'm going to stamp it on um, cardstock with uh, Versa marking and then I'm going to gold emboss it. And by the way, this is Antique Gold by Altenew. And uh, there is also a beautiful Antique Gold by Simon's Stamp. They give pretty much the same beautiful effect. Now from the stamp set, I'm also going to pick one of the phrases to combine it with the word kind. And I decided to use the one that says your kindness is appreciated. So again, I'm going to stamp it on the same cardstock with Versa marking and emboss it. I used the matching die to cut out the word kind and now you can see how easy it is to lift the sticker. So now I'm going to decide better on the placement than now that I have the sentiments. And I can stick uh, down my sticker again and then I'm going to add some uh, glue at the back of my sentiments and stick them down. And I like how nicely they nest together with the flower. And today it's all about creating quick and simple cards with elements that you can find in the kit and uh, at the same time they really look gorgeous as if you have spent uh, quite some time creating them. For the next card I'm going to use this beautiful flower arrangement sticker and I'm just rotating it over this tag that says happy day just to decide how it's going to nest nicely on top of it. Once I'm happy with how it looks I'm going to press and stick it there and then I'm going to bring in even more stickers to make my arrangement fuller. Now I'm using the grid on my glass mat to find where the middle is and I'm going to cut out a fishtail just at the bottom so instead of having a tag I will end up having a nice banner. I have added some foam tape at the back of this and I'm going to stick it on top of my card base. And now I'm going to bring in even more stickers and just make the arrangement of the flowers at the top a little bit more fuller. So I'm going to play a little bit with my, with my stickers there, trying to decide where everything is going to go and which stickers I'm going to use. And it's a good thing that these stickers are uh, quite forgiving, so you can easily peel them off and uh, replace them. And as I'm doing that, just to let you all know that there is a giveaway on my blog. So for a chance to win this card kit, the November card kit by Simon Says Stamp, make sure to leave me a comment on my blog. You will find the link down below in the description area if you are watching on YouTube. And since I have quite some pink on the right side, I am going to balance that with a pink heart on the other side. And to finish off my card, I'm going to add some dots with my white Nouveau Drops. Now for the next card I am going to use this beautiful embossed paper and for some strange reason my fiscal streamer didn't cut out uh, through this paper although it's quite uh, thin. So I didn't have my guillotine out and I decided to just uh, use my ruler and my craft knife to cut it out on my new glass mat. And I'm also using some double sided tape at the back since my tape runner doesn't really work at the back of this paper. Well it's quite um, strange because you can't uh, cut it with your paper trimmer and uh, runner tape doesn't work but it's so pretty. And now just like I did with the rest of my cards, again I'm going to create a cluster with those stickers. So I have used this beautiful sticker with the gold butterfly and on top of it I'm going to stick one more butterfly which is uh, quite bigger. It's going to cover up completely the one at the bottom but uh, it's going to give dimension and it's bigger. And now I'm going to use bits and pieces from other stickers like I want the leaves from this uh, nest and I wasn't planning to use the nest so I just uh, decided to sacrifice it. You don't have to do that, you can use the nest as a focal point on another card. So I'm just using the leaves there to create my cluster and make it fuller. 
and I actually used white glue at the back of these stickers just to make sure that this is going to nice to nicely bond with the background just because this is an embossed paper and very specialty one it doesn't stick so well on top of it now for my sentiment I'm going to go with uh, one of uh, the banners that uh, the tags that I have cut out from that pattern paper in the beginning the one that says hello I'm also going to tie a bow using my white thread I used foam tape at the back of my tag to stick it down there I'm adding a dot of glue and then I'm going to place that bow on top of there and my card is finished again super quick and easy but so beautiful From my next card I'm working with uh, that beautiful stamp from the stamp set. It's a beautiful cluster with the word kind at the center. I am using my Tim Holtz stamping platform to stamp it on top of watercolor paper and I will have to stamp it uh, a couple of times just to make sure that I have transferred my Versa marking nicely and then I'm going to apply some embossing powder and heat set it. And while I had the stamps and the embossing powder out, I decided to stamp the word kind so that I have it separately. And after heat setting everything, you see how beautiful it looks. By the way, I used antique uh, gold embossing powder by Altenew. And now I'm going to use my Gansai Tambi and I decided to use a certain color palette. You can see the numbers of uh, which colors I'm using on your screen right now. And then I'm using a water brush and I'm just going to add some color on my flowers. Now I'm not going to do any crazy coloring here. I'm quickly coloring everything. I like that uh, it is embossed. So it's really hard to go outside the lines as uh, that uh, embossed area just uh, contains the water nicely. And it's uh, very hard for that uh, watercolor to bleed when you are working in embossed images. And as you can see, I'm working as a palette on top of my glass mat, which is one of the things that I love about glass mats, just because um, you don't have to bring in another palette. And the fact that it is white makes things really easy since I can really see the true color. So I used the dye included in the kit to cut out the word kind and now with my scissors I'm going to go around that flower arrangement and cut it out. As I'm cutting it out I'm leaving a white border all around which is going to make my life easier. Now I've already prepared this panel and I have uh, stamped and embossed the phrase that says thank you for being so kind and again this is one of um, the sayings from the same stamp set. I have uh, placed the word kind with foam squares on top of the other word at the bottom so it is popped up now and I'm going to use some white glue at the back and stick it on top of my panel. Now uh, I didn't apply white glue at the edges so it is easy for me now to use my fingers and lift the leaves and the flowers a little bit to add dimension. And you will understand what I mean at the photos at the end. Now to finish off my card I'm using pink and green uh, jewel drops in different places just to add some interest and my card is finished. And we are already at card number 8. For this I'm going to use this beautiful pattern paper with those golden stripes. I'm just adding some tape adhesive at the back and I'm going to stick it on one of my card bases and completely cover it. And then I'm going to use two of those uh, little pieces that I have cut out from one of the pattern papers included in the kit. Now this is where I lost a little bit of footage from the video but all I did was just stick those little squares on top of my card panel and um, I have uh, used two of the golden stickers directly on top of these just to replace some of the words. So the first one was saying uh, we are family and with the new sticker on top it says we are happy family and the second one was saying house and love equals home and again it says the same thing but now with a golden detail. Now all I'm doing is playing around with the black and white stickers, just deciding where everything could go. And again we have a very clean and simple looking card with beautiful golden details, which uses in a great way the stickers and the pattern papers.
So here is a beautiful pattern paper again. When I'm using uh, pattern papers like this, I always think that I need to keep um, the card quite simple since um, the background really makes the whole card. So for that, I'm going to use another one of the tags included in one of those pattern papers. I'm making a hole there. I'm going to set one of my eyelets again by using my crocodile. I'm going to cut out a piece of twine and thread it through that hole there. And then I'm going to attach this with foam squares at the back on top of my card base. And again for this card I'm going to use the same concept as I did for the rest of the cards. So I'm going to embellish it a little bit more by using stickers that were provided in the kit. So here I am using a couple of the leaves. And I'm also going to use this uh, big uh, leaf. I'm going to cut it in half so that I can attach it on one side, at the top, and at the bottom. And I'm using my scissors there to make my sticker work. So instead of looking as if it is uh, the half bottom of a bigger branch, I'm going to make it look as if it is the top. For the last card I'm going to use this gorgeous pattern paper and again the pattern paper makes the whole card so I don't need to do lots of things on top of it. I am using this square dies to cut out a little window and also I'm going to use this gold cardstock to cut out a frame. I am using some white glue at the back of my frame there and I'm going to stick that uh, around my window so it's going to look more finished. And the gold details on the pattern paper match perfectly with my golden frame. And I'm going to use one of uh, those little squares that you can cut out of uh, one of the pattern papers. And I have uh, chose to go with the one that says choose joy. And now with my scissors I'm going to cut out the flowers and the leaves from this sticker. I'm not going to use the bird but you can nicely cut it out so you can use it for another card. And I created a tiny little cluster on one of the corners and in the close-up photo you will see that it matches perfectly with a beautiful cluster of flowers that it has printed on top of it. And although this is the last card, I want to show you that I have plenty of uh, those little squares more that you can uh, go ahead and create pretty much the same design with all those different uh, squares and to use up all the leftovers of uh, 6x6 pattern papers that you have with those beautiful sayings. Now I'm going to stick that on top of my card base and my card is finished. You always need to remember that you don't really need to overthink your cards. They don't have to be very complicated and when you are working with a card kit it's always nice to use up most of the things and just have fun with it rather than struggling with the design. So here are all the 10 cards that I have created for today using the November card kit by Simon Says Stamp. Don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know which one of those 10 cards was your favorite and uh, also make sure to visit my blog to enter the giveaway. Here are some close-up photos of all the cards that I made for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired and if you did don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Also don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already because this is the way to tell me that you like my videos and you want to see more. Thank you all so much for watching and see you tomorrow with a fun event!